Hello there everyone and welcome back to Equestria War. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. As we're playing as Jupiter, but we're just about ready to go to war with the new Haz Rumenian Empire, led well formerly by Tobok. Um Zambal Baragzen. Um the Leper Bloodline, Custodian of Podes, a true hedonist. Oh boy. He's a reactionary. Go figure. But we're gonna go to war and see if we can take what back what is rightfully ours and hopefully get to uh, at least war economy. Um, any second now... There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, we can do war bonds, but since we're here... We actually lose 0.2 political power every day, which is quite a bit, but... Uh, I don't mind paying that. To have even more millies, civvies, and good stuff like that. Our army should be pretty decent overall. Do that, do that. Thank you very much. Keep working on them civvies. Um, these guys, with them being this new empire, they have a couple of divisions. Plenty of manpower. But we should do okay. Even though I did screw up how everyone was functioning it by the end of the last episode, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm not super concerned about it. Uh, news got either burned. That's good. Uh, here, uh, you both go here. Get rid of them. We should be fine. They haven't courted. Oh, well, maybe they have courted part of this. Yeah, yep, they courted part of those states yet. That kind of sucks, but oh well. Here, just go here. There you go. Oh, more military factors would be nice because we are completely out of RD, which is not good. Good, 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 and hopefully we'll just be smashing through them. Because our guys, our infantry at least, is 40 a combat with divisions. Uh, standard issue rifle bush war. Rifle. Very nice. Magic of industry. New main hand explosion. Very cool. Get a more recon. Do we have recon on our soldiers? Guard divisions? No, we don't. So why am I researching it if I'm not using it? Why am I using this if we're not using it either? That's a good question to ask. There you go. Have at thee. Have fun with it. This is increase our armor, so field hospitals and anti tank. Sure. You know what? With these guys, go and do that too. Why not? Oh, hello. Yay. And the Lehay reforms. Oh, hello. Did we win? Sheriff Turner Revanchism has been fulfilled. Oh. Faith and labor. Oh, okay. do we. Oh, God. Military governor. Um. Civilian oversight, maybe, and suppression. That would probably be good. I'm going to send, send you guys back home. Was that really the end of the war? Holy crap, that was actually really easy. Okay, the waning moon sermons are gone. Um, well then. Well, now what? What is over here? Well, we won the war. Okay. That was actually much easier than I thought it would be. Uh, we do have one thing of fighters. Oh, do we have any casts? Propaganda efforts, political actions, special research projects, Mark 6, sure. The cheer up here an economic miracle. Uh, manufacturing optimization. Our manufacturing system is growing increasingly sophisticated. We should spread best practices, learn the most innovative firms to promote synergistic and efficiency across sectors. Silver Moon Telecommunications. Chiroptera has always been a forefront of cryptology. The vast operations of the nightmare who, nightmares who have required it. We should turn this expertise into mathematics and electronic engineering to more peaceful applications, becoming leaders in telecom and computers. Uh, sure, yeah, why not? It's 10, 13 still. Um, is that really all there is? No, well, that catastrophe is now over. We have one sub. I guess we could do that. We probably. Well, I want to get compliance up through here. Ooh, look at all this compliance already. Uh, let's do this one because for better fuel gains, why not? Well, okay, and then uh, the trip to an economic miracle. After our defeat, our people feared a total economic collapse. Gangs battling on the streets for scraps, with thousands and starved, and the trip to bit became worthless, leaving us deaths to for generations to come. Instead, we weathered the storm and emerged stronger for it, becoming one of the world's most innovative and competitive economies. So, heard these two last time. The trip to a national guard. We shall organize our former legionnaires and civilians into a national guard. We'll help with second line tasks such as refurbishing captured gear if necessary. Put these ground to weapons to use for launching guerrilla attacks on occupying forces. Special Air Service. Sterling's efforts have borne fruit. And soon a new generation of Special Forces will join our army, blending the old Legionnaire uh, Elan with the precision of modern mission-based tactics. 
but boosts our contract. Starting to develop a new series of tanks, larger and more heavily armored than the previous generations, and able to withstand modern anti-tank weapons. Will serve as a uh, armored spearhead, punching through enemy lines and allowing our forces to sweep up the disordered foe. Which is great. Sure, we'll go there too. Um, we got plenty to build. I'll build plenty of roads and whatnot too, of course, but. I'm not sure there's anything more. I don't think there's anything more after this. So let's go through the focuses at the very least. Keep building up our uh, industry, why not? There you go. More industry. Then maybe we'll take out Aeris as well. We'll see. Uh, revitalize the legions. Or modern day legionarism. I think I'll do this one just because we are communist. The legion system will never be reborn. This is a good thing. Modern wars are won with vast forces, logistics, and the technology, not individual prowess and expertise of a few elite officers. However, this does not mean we'll have to forget the past entirely. The fighting spirit of the old legion still pervades our army, and there will always be a place for our heroism among our ranks. Of course. Why wouldn't there be? Um, economic miracle, of course. Fast food. Why not? So if that's the case, next we're going to research our better subs, attack errors, probably. Uh, yeah, so we got all this stuff done. Reverbish Ursagrad shipyards. Ursagrad shipyards are large but outdated. We should outfit them with the newest machinery to rebuild our once grand fleet. Uh, airstrip modernization. We should expand and modernize the airports to accommodate a larger and more efficient aircraft, as well as improving the efficiency of our aluminum refinement to construct a state of the art air force. Air to land integration. We should rebuild specialized aircraft for ground support, optimize for quick takeoff and landing, and for agile dive bombing to deliver precision fire support to our ground forces. Air to sea integration. Torpedo bombers will be the new terror of the seas, whether launched from an aircraft carrier or a conventional airbase. We'll commission new torpedo bombers designed so that our enemies will never rule the seas while we rule the skies. Combined aerial operations doctrine. Aircraft must work in close coordination with the on-the-ground spiders, as much as artillery has for many years now. By closely coordinating between the branches, we can minimize friendly fire incidents and ensure our payloads are delivered exactly where and when our ground forces need the most. And rebuild the fighter fleet. The fighter plane is the backbone of any air force. While most of our Legion era fighters were lost, we saw the machinery required to rebuild them and can improve on their designs to create a new generation of fighter craft. The strategic, strategic Destruction Theorem, which we'll read about maybe next. Um, let's go with this one next first. And there you go. Postcode modifications. Sounds like I said that what say that a lot in Old World Blues, but whatever. And then this one. By targeting enemy infrastructure in war industry, we can chip away at their ability to keep their army in the field and at the fundamental will to fight. While we cannot muster a fleet of the flying fortresses at can field, we can use heavy models of the tactical bomber to strike enemy industry. Bomb them back to the Stone Age. By carefully planning our bombing rates of enemy cities and installations, we can exploit architectural and planning weaknesses to ensure that fire is spread and maximize devastation. Hitting water mains, mains, targeting key intersections, and so on will cause the greatest amount of destruction. Oh boy. Um, per ton of ordnance we drop. Jet technology experimentations or experiments. Jet engines will revolutionize aviation, that much is obvious. What is less obvious is whether we'll be able to capitalize on that revolution or get left in the dust by it. We've assembled the brightest minds in Europe Terra to ensure that it's a former. Reorganize the Marine Corps. Uh, as our Navy revitalizes, we ought not to forget the naval infantry. It is only through their elan and grit that the naval victories translate to real beachhead stormed and ground taken. One twin combo width of Marines, nice. Modernize the territorial fleet. The territorial fleet consists of a force of destroyers and other escorts designed to protect our commerce and coastlines from enemy raids. We should not let these vessels fall behind the technology curve. A modern subfleet. The sub is the most efficient way to cut our enemies off from supplies and resources, but turning their trade relations from strengths into weaknesses. We should modernize our subfleet to evade modern sonar and keep the pressures on our foes. Fuel Conservation Initiative. We lack the luxuries of having oil fields within our borders, therefore we must retrofit our engines to get as many kilometers out of our limited fuel supplies as we can. Let's jump to our naval aviation department. Naval aviation is the way of the future. Soon battleships will be all but obsolete, kept in port for fear of naval bombers. We should embrace this change as allow us to level the playing, naval playing field with our foe. Urbanize Moonspeaker Hollow. Moonspeaker Hollow was heavily damaged during the liberation. We can rebuild this town better than it was before, and make it the proper city it was always meant to be. Supply line disruption tactics. Ooh, I like this one. We should focus our efforts on disrupting enemy shipping lanes. We may never match the naval forces of naval powers like Winged Body and Hippogryphia, but we can still prove a mighty inconvenience to them with the right tactics and long distance operations. We should focus our efforts on projecting power far field. Striking enemies who thought they were out of our range, Jupiter will rule the waves. Well, I figure, you know what, why not? Let's go to war with Eris, but then Colt the Genian Republic went to war with them too, and they're war with a lot of people. Oh god, they have a massive navy. Oh, Shinikis. That's a big navy. Should have expected that one, but uh, we lost uh, 
a few ships here, a few planes maybe here and there. Um, not ideal, not ideal. We got quite a bit of attack though too. Um, I might just say take my guys home as we will attempt to bomb them because I don't want to lose too many ships. We finished boosting our contract, special air service. Uh, it's going to hurt us a little bit, but we, we have to raise more forces here. Ooh. Losing a couple planes here and there. Just mobilizing more is going to help us out a lot more. Sunk two convoys at least. We do have some planes too, so it's not all bad. It's not all great. But yeah, we'd have to get to work on our air force here. Um, also, I had to use cons commands to make sure we could actually go to war with them, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. How many planes do we have in spare? We don't need more planes, aren't we? Yeah. Oh. Well, let's sunk some convoys. That's good. Another ship here. Sounds good to me. Oh, look at that. We actually sunk one of their subs, I think. Another one of their subs. Good, good, good. We have our spies deployed, of course, in the kingdom. 122 ships now. Nice. We lost three subs there. Very good. Queen Nova class. The Air Force is decent-ish. Are they attacking our subs, too? Uh, civilian economy. Air Force Department is next. Um, so, yeah. Basically, this is what we're doing right now. You guys, uh, film festival... Um, war bonds. Yeah, go and grab war bonds. Why not? We could really use more uh, military factories. We can build ourselves up even more. Do we need more rubber? No, we're actually good on rubber. We need more uh, chromium. And honestly, we just need more planes. Which means we're going to need more rubber, too. So, special air service, of course. A wild it disappears. More paratroopers. And we're going to get this one in. That's going to hurt our manpower a little bit, too. But whatever. There you go. Transport. Good. Keep bombing the crap out of them. Still not enough manpower, but that's alright. We'll get there. Ah! Special air service. 16 combo width is not bad. We can just land on Wing Garden. That'd be fantastic, but still. Ah. Even more so ships lost. Good, 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 good. We just need that manpower, though. If that's the case. We're going to lower this by one as well. It instantly gives us a tiny bit more manpower. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but it's already gone. God dang it. Bruh. Pretty much something nice. Not expecting miracles, but like, well, we're gonna lose all their subs eventually. Because now they're hey, we lost, they lost twenty more ships. We really gotta focus on the capital ships and the carriers. The carriers are what's destroying us. Even their heavy carriers, I'm sure, are doing pretty well against us. We do what we're doing here. These guys, um, we are at what percentage here? One percent. We've lost hundred four. They've lost forty eight thousand. They've lost eight hundred eighty five thousand. My God. Yeah, these two sides are killing each other like crazy. That's kind of insane. Not gonna lie. That is a little insane. Um, ships, critical hits. Ooh, so modern day legionarism. Good. So we're pretty much done all here. And we got that one done too. We're gonna grab. Chance to see critical hits goes down. Uh, we can grab these guys too. That'd be fantastic. Ah, another sub, of course. Last couple planes here, but that's all right. They're still mobilizing. That's good. And working conditions. This keeps popping up up there. Gain base war support. Well, we can use more stability, honestly. But what else can we do here? Anything else? We're already in war economy. We're on closed resources. We can change this to last standing, but we don't really need to change anything there. So political power is not too much. Oh, Griffonian free territory. Also, we do have uh, the Equestrian War special sub mod thing on. Um, 91, good. Manpower wise, they are on. 600,000. These guys are going to be losing soon. They've actually fought a few div fewer divisions. And maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, about equal, actually. A couple planes here and there. Tiny bit of manpower. Can we stack any more naval bombers here? Oh my god, do we need it? Squark wood, huh? And. Well, we're doing damage to them. We keep losing planes, which is not good, which means we need to increase the amount of naval bombers that we have. By a smidgen more, and by a smidgen more, I mean by a lot more. Anything else here? Basic cast? Well, we don't need basic cast, we already have improved cast. Any damage here? No? It sucks. It sucks. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take a while, isn't it? I mean, we could draw them out using our navy. Which means, draw them out. Oh! Really close. Come on, planes, do something here. 
They're destroying a crap ton of convoys, which is helping out the Carthaginian Republic, but still. Good. Oh, we lost this one, good. Where are the planes? They probably don't have the range to get all the way over there. That's probably it. Lost hunter killer, that sucks. More naval bombers lost. Yeah. Yeah, they're just death stacking over here. Oof. Requesting freedom, huh? Come on, planes, do something here. They're looking pretty good right here. Looking pretty good. Another infantry division is fine. I don't think we can naval invade just yet because it's going to take a while to do. So we'll be stuck here for a while as we are. Well, we've taken only 336 casualties, 41 divisions. We've delivered. Is that almost 100,000? They've taken over a million. Yeah, actually, we're doing casualty ratio way better than these guys. It's kind of fun to see, but we'll see you when we're almost defeated them, or maybe defeated them, and we're taking out the Carthaginian Republic. Alright, so I've been looking around, and we haven't been able to get what we really wanted here the entire time. I know it's like the last half of this episode, or the last three quarters, but basically I had to use Khan's commands to make sure that we could get Duskwing, the guy we originally set out to get. I was hoping to get him earlier, but when I was playing as Zarantia, or I guess Tobuk, or, or Zarantia, I think it was Tobuk that actually take out uh, Chirapter earlier on. We had the event fire to play as Chapter again, but not without this this guy. We were even able to get him in power. So these are the red apostate. So finally I went back into the events and we've got Dusk Wayne finally. Now we've got an event here. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with it, but because I had to fire one of the random ones to see what happens. So I apologize for the long delay into getting Dusk Wayne, but it might still be glitched. Maybe not. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing here. But I thought that once you took out Chapter as Rantia with the B guy, the Barag, Baragzen guy, I thought we'd get an option to choose which ideology we wanted down, which was why I that was so heavy going into the communist path, but regardless, here we are. A meeting of the minds. As he sat patiently at the bar, Duskway poured himself a measure from the whiskey bottle on the bar top and knocked it back. He looked at the second shot glass when he placed it ahead of Carriage Six's arrival. For the moment, he needed a steady measure given that one of his assistants had informed him that the arrangements were in place. As much as he'd been getting friendly with Carriage Stick, there was no room for him in the future of the country. No, that bad had been dealt with. It was time to clear another check mark. A sound from outside drew him from his reverie, accompanied by the sound of hoofsteps steps down into the bar. It was Carrot. Duskwain waved him over and gestured at the stool next to him. Sid said, come sit and drink. With your talk, yes, Dusk began pouring more whiskey into his glass and then offering one of Carriage Stick. Seemingly ignorant of the imminent pearl he was in, Carrot smiled at his friend and took both his stool and the drink. Both of them raised their glasses, clinked them together, and toasted to the other's good health. Something inside of Dusk's stomach nodded briefly for a moment. Carrot Stick chatted warmly with Duskwing, offering to help them both work together to bring a bright future for the country that, that united they could form an unbreakable bomb. With great internal effort, Dusk put on a great show of listening to and outwardly accepting the aired ideas, appearing to be quite reasonable. When at last an accord had been met, Dusk once again offered a small toast to Carrot and then bid him farewell. He stayed behind as the other stallion left the bar, his ears twitching at the sound of the car door slamming shut. Mentally he counted down, time to put the key in the ignition, time to turn the key in. The explosion which followed was loud enough that the bottles inside the bar rattled and clanked. One or two falling over, Dusk took a moment to compose himself if it needed to be done. At least we have Dusk Wayne now. His biography, one of the oldest living thrustrolls in Chirrup Terra, and certainly the oldest living moon speaker. Dusk Wayne is a pinnacle of revolutionary idealism. Having remarkably served almost more time behind bars than outside of it, and his many years has been a strong proponent of causes which run contrary to that of the Chiriptan state. From labor rights to advocating for legion reform and even some amongst his cadre whisper of heresy and worship of the moon itself rather than the nightmare. However, with the ab ab abolition of the legion system and the reformation of the country into a republic, Duskwing now finds himself in a driving seat rather than agitating from the back wing. His bold ideals may be a rather stark contrast to that which many are used to, but his genuine desire to see the country serve the populace rather than the populace serve the country may be the critical factor in his new this new socialist era. Of course, keeping control of power is always a difficult thing, and consolidation and unification will surely be thought of as the forefront of the canny old bat's mind. So, basically, here's a focus tree. Actually, it's been very condensed. We didn't have to do all that stuff earlier, but here we're at. Um, the long road to forgiveness. The war was over, and the old regime of Chiriptera had been toppled. In its place, Duskwain stepped into the pedestal to lead the country towards a brighter future and labor's economics. It is crucial that production continue to be divested away from the lingering remnants of capital. Workers themselves know which commodities and resources they require, so we should utilize a direct experience in fulfilling supply and demand rather than the abstract wants of some rich old elitists. Cutting one's losses. 
as his aides trotted out. Ocean Spray's relatively calm-looking exterior began to crumble. He just received the news of Care Six's rather untimely and explosive death. This, out of the already highly coincidental death that Batten had first suffered, could really only mean one thing: Duskwing was behind it all. If it had just been Batten, that was perhaps an accident that could have been written off as highly unfortunate for Batten. Care's death was a sign that another force was at work. With the writing on the wall, he fired up the wireless transmitter. My loyal followers, we come to a crossroads in history. A bit of a moment where you are all needed, each and every one of you, today have learned that Duskwing, the foul villain he is, is responsible for the death of two proud Shrub Terrans, and must be held accountable for these heinous acts. Not only did he engage in brazen skullduggery to cause jo Gorg Batten's death via a vehicular accident, ah, I see where he's from now, he was the one responsible for the cowardly assassination of Kirstik via bombing. No government in his name is a legitimate government. I call upon you to reject his false statehood, rise up, defend your land, and protect your homes. We shall never bend the knee to those who would oppress us and shall resist with every fiber of our being. Speech uh, delivered. Ocean Spray took a moment to throw a few things into the case and bolted as quickly as he could. Now that he made a target of himself, it was time to go somewhere a bit safer and further away. Skyfall sounded good. Darn heathens. Economic diversification. Um... Well, we don't need too much more demands of pass. I I want more uh, manpower. How do we get more manpower? Clear war support, daily time support. Uh, many gods, one moon. Another another research slot. That's pretty good. Charity. Um. We get some more pony power here and there. People's legions. We lose a recruitable population factor. We lose a lot of recruitable population factor, don't you? Well then. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to optimize transportation. Effort put into going from A to B will pay for itself greatly in terms of efficiency. We can become a shining example of collectivized travel if sufficient work is put into overhauling our road networks, and it'll aid in industrial expansion too, or industrial ex uh, transportation. Oh, look at this. Bad moon rising. Oh, Duskwing growled himself, contemplating his next steps. Truth be told, the options on the table were not particularly desirable. The recent outburst of madness from the little wretch, Ocean Spray, had sent all his planning to the trash. The Weasley vermin had somewhat managed to wrangle his support into a somewhat organized force, and now they were squarely being aimed in the general direction. After the careful consolidation of the fledgling power structure for Sheriff Terrell, the last thing he needed was a jumped up, reckless vagabond like spray to torpedo the caves, as it were. Oh, look at this, the Sheriff Terrell troubles. The old Stallion harmed a few times and composed himself. He found a moon speaker to talk to later. So, want to make his, mo his mind plain, too, but not all of his thoughts. Some burdens had to be borne by him alone, for that was the way of things. He needed to carry these things so that others might not have to endure the same privations. The plan then first comes first things first action. Laying out steps in his mind, Dusk resolved to establish an emergency, highly temporary, government in order to neuter, neuter Ocean Spray's little uprising and the threat it posed. He knew few trustworthy folks that he could tap for his role, but the important thing was to act and act quickly. This government had to move on Spray's stupidity quickly, and then he could submit its legitimacy. With a small nod of self understanding, Wayne left to put his plan into motion. We will undo the pa mistakes of the past. So what do we have here? With Sheriff Terrell's territorial integrity restored once again, all pre republican robberies had long less boiled over. Once erstwhile allies have divided themselves upon political and sectarian lines, forming their own paramilitaries, and now using war, waging war against each, both each other and the government. If we have any hope of stabilizing Sheriff Terrell, these glorified terrorists must be dealt with swiftly and with no mercy. Also, oh, we have a lot of places activated, or integrated, I should say, except for the supremacists. Restoring order will be a long and arduous process, which can only be done dealing with each of the individual paramilitaries hostile to the government. There are two distinct ways to deal with them. The most straightforward is simply destroying them, which can be done by taking decisions that actively hamper their support in various states. The second option is negotiation. Negotiating with a paramilitary group will require first up a ceasefire with them, which will give us a certain amount of time to fulfill an objective, such as completing certain focuses or destroying or harming other paramilitary groups. Upon completing these set objectives, the corresponding group will be integrated into the government and cease all their activities and will depend on the group integrated provided us with a myriad of different bonuses. However, you should keep in mind that certain groups are simply incompatible with each other. Anti supremacist operations. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, well, we have no manpower, which is not good for us. Oh, I don't know. Okay, interesting. Do we lose cores on all this? Oh my god. Oh, good god, that's not good. Um, this is gonna really set us back, isn't it? I'm supposed to get a new focus, more new focuses unlocked? I don't see any new focuses, but okay. Um. Well, I guess this one's next. Hmm. 
Just, am I supposed to like delete my own divisions for all this and whatnot? I guarantee you, we're not gonna have enough manpower for this. Uh, the people, the people's Moonburger. Fast food has become quite a hit among the populace. We should try to take steps to associate the glory of this available food stuff by linking it with the wonders of our doctrines. It's not my fast food; it's our fast food. The socialization of commodities. Every creature requires things. We understand this by encouraging all creatures in our boards to collectivize essentials and non-essentials. Those that are without will soon be with those with, and all will be balanced. Economic diversification. We must continue to emphasize to the workers of the need to innovate without the need for capital investment. More factories are needed, and more production lines running at once. This will allow the laborers to truly benefit from the work. The Ivory Wayne Labor Reform Act. Ensuring the fundamental rights of the workers is the last step we need in advancing our economic miracle. A unified society that works for each other together will be nigh unstoppable. Our factories will produce the most and without any exploitation of labor. The Klali system of production. We have large spots of land that are ripe for agricultural development. It should be a goal to encourage citizens to form agrarian communities in this land and to farm it in the best of their ability. Allowing them to build and collectivize their own housing will make for a more unified community. Good. Continue to keep them down. And as we're demobilizing more. Even though I did go to Warriors of the Night too. So, Not ideal. It's way too ahead of time to try to get that one. Um, go there. Armor trains, war austerity. I don't think there's very much else we can really do here. I didn't know it's a pass. The from forced wall assimilation to the oppression of the workers and the pressure exerted on Princess Luna. Our proud nation has committed acts of terrorism and extortion in the name of Nightmare Moon and to continue on the new path we must recognize our crimes. The Convocation of Moonspeakers. There ought to be a council of moral and religious guidance to steer a chair of terror in, uh, in the right direction to keep order. Duskwain will send a call out, or out for a call for Moonspeakers all across the land so the most experienced advisors can guide the Republic. Great. Negotiate with them, huh? We've neither integrated nor has a cease fire with them. Uh, Champions of the Nightmare, huh? And it's all gonna go away. What the heck, man? Barely active. Like, bruh. I don't want to have to delete our divisions, man. Makes no sense to me. Active, barely active. Let's get the people's moon burger, yes, that's good. At least we got burgers here, I suppose. <sighs> you never know how things work out. Get one going, why not? Barely active, active, well. Guess you guys could be doing this too, I suppose. Not like it matters too much, but still. It's definitely not the way I think the devs intended everything to happen, but whatever. Barely active, active. And it's gone, basically. How oh, fantastic. And it's gone. Marines. Uh, there you go. Active, active, barely active. Um, sure. Hurts our consumer goods, but, you know, whatever. This is going down now. For now. God dang it. Goodbye, black and blue division. Wait, what are we missing here? 
Uh, manpower, political power, command. Oh, god dang, we don't have enough command power. Bruh. Fought them at least four times, huh? Seriously. Come on. So not good, man. Well, let's do this out next. <sighs> Gotta love it. Got to love it. Well, now I need more command power. The peaceful atom, huh? Technology is not something to be feared. True, the great power of the atom can be used for war, but has significant peaceful benefits. Making efforts to use this radical technology for power generation will stand us in good stead, good stead as a growing uh, country. Oh, it's slightly going down. Ugh. Very much not bueno. Are we missing anything here? Oh, we actually have an import. The Road of Redemption, at least. Um, radios across Jeff Terra broadcast the aged voice of Dusk Wayne from New Asia Chaldee. And neither distance years nor static thwarted his fervor of emotions in every lambasting word announced. The Legionary Council knowingly hid themselves away from the wells of we Jeff Terran laborers. The invisible state answered at no point as it brutalized the common creature, and when hundreds of creatures began vanishing to the Native Affairs Commission, what was the response we received when we asked questions? They bore fangs at our throats, aimed a muzzled chest, and dealt beatings to purposely break us. Now it falls to upon us. No, never let such cruelty happen again. We are not mindless livestock meant to be broken and kept in line to further some point's unknown and immoral goals, for we are chirp turns, and our lives and works give us worth. Before the moon, I promise all chirp turns, laborers or not, that this will be the core principle of my administration going forward. Their lives, their work, their worth. The most unmoved and bitter creatures ignored their next spiel of details and tuned out uh, the plans to come, but many more laborers remain listening and enraptured by the future to Sheriff Terrell. We must do better. I was continue working on this group here, too, and uh, what is this? The uh, principle of cultural solidarity. Every culture is built atop a foundation of key values, honor, loyalty, faith, or duty. From here, the foundation of Sheriff Terrell should be one of mutual aid, helping a starving neighbor, struggling friend, or bankrupt family member. The long-term social transition. Compared to the horrors of capitalism, the way we do things is much more inherently stable. Thus, planning and producing for the future will serve us greater than normal production. Legal patterns of labor exploitation. No more, never again. Open up the archives. The average pony has only a loose idea of what happened or what past regimes did for Nightmare Moon. Our claims of atrocities will ring hollow unless we open up vaults and make classified information public. Being close again and neutralize. That's good. It's hard to tell, like, which, where, where, how can you tell which, which group is here? I just promised those legions, oh, legions, okay, so this is how you just have to slightly hover, hover over it. Legions and the Chirp Nightmare, the first among equals. The night had since grown in welcome of the rising moon above the time the assembly of priests convening in Moonspeaker Hollow, garbed in darkened hues, trimmed impeccably with j tiny gemstones. Each speckle in every row would match one of the many constellations that painted the dark canvases above if one were to measure their astronomical accuracy. Even the Duskwain's old robes adorned for this meeting, worn and lusterless, beheld crystals mirroring a star pattern above. Chanting his opening mantra alongside that others, Duskwain mentally rehearsed his talking points and the words he had said to broach the subject, and by lunar grace, the opportunity presented itself right there and then. Brother Wayne, a familiar face, said, What whiskey brand have you been drinking tonight? Stringent glares followed after a few chuckles, and a smile washed over Duskwain. None, none tonight, my friend. I speak not just for laborers, but for the well being of the common creature. Do not taint sacred traditions with a personal radicalism, another moon speaker warned. But I ask, dear brother, whose sacred traditions do these belong to? Asked Dusk Wayne. We enlightened few or every pony else. They belong to the nightmare given to us. Ah, yes, but what we've done is unto others except preach. How many sermons must each of us give to spread her truth? All are one beneath the moon, but it is we who spread its lunar grace. We must reach beyond where words cannot ever to save those who cannot save themselves. Not through force, for our force faith is no faith at all, but through works of the lunar grace, the works of the moon speakers. 
Mm, is your ability so convoluted that your preaching falls flat on other moon speaker ass? Laughter began to murmur throughout the assembly. Has yours ever so clear been enough? Every moon speaker lapsed into silence. The old familiar face, quiet since their opening remark, let out a conceding sigh. If faith can move mountains, why hasn't it moved it yet? Ah, laborious confederalism. The old system was corrupt and rewarded those at the top. We have to reform the hierarchy of society and give power to the unions to ensure that the fruits of our land are distributed equally. The radicalization and rehabilitation programs. A significant margin of chair of terror and criminals are militant followers of Nightmare Moon and will continue to threaten our new government, unless we act, of course. However, most of these points have only been exposed to extremist propaganda. It would be beneficial to give them a chance to unlearn this fanatical doctrine before taking any more severe action. Yeah, we're going to keep making more here because we are running out of stuff here, too. Let's go. And we're out of rubber. Pretty normal. We'll keep working on all this stuff. Because uh, right now, roads are looking decent. Also, I guess the changing is to get this tile over here, too, where my mouse is. So, kind of sucks. Oh, look at that. We actually have manpower. Huh. Why, 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 why do we have to delete our divisions just to get enough manpower to do anything here? Legions of Nightfall, huh? Good. Destroy them. A nation of many. The ragged gas fell out of Dusk Wayne from the bench he practically flopped on. Whether too many years of whiskey or his age had finally caught up, the fact remained that a brief game of tag was enough to wear him out. A unicorn filly, somehow still beaming with energy, caught near. Mr. Wayne, are you alright? The nation's leader forced a smile. No worries, just taking a break. The unicorn groaned in protest, but a young Thestral glided over and nudged the filly with a tag. Dusk Wayne watched them rejoin the playground, brimming with other young creatures and their parents roaming nearby and talked with his constituents. It was easy to see that the community families here on the outskirts of Ursagrad were ex-laborers just by glancing at the ramshackle homes all around, if not a glimpse of many of the adults bearing limping gates, brutal limbs, and ghastly scars across their tarnished coats, all undoubtedly afflicted by the labor camp of the past, yet for all of their suffering force upon them here, they were now marginalized away because many, if not all, are physically incapable of work ever again. Duskwain studied his breathing and observed the many ex-laborers interacting with the staff he brought along. Their lively faces and eager conversations were proof enough that his decision to visit ex labor communities across Chip Terra was the right one. They needed some pony to hear their plights, and Duskwing could ensure that all the voices would be heard. No, not just heard, but answered. We are all Cheer Up Terrans. The People's Legions. It's the military's job to protect our citizens, therefore. It should be composed of members from all of our nation's communities. Thus, we encourage underrepresented communities to sign up for military service. We may be people, but we are one nation, so, we, so all must do their part. Nice. Lala, welcome, huh? Lunarists around the world may find themselves being harassed by their neighbors for being deviants while practicing their religion. Therefore, a new law will be promulgated that will ensure that all foreign lunarists who, which, who wish to immigrate to Chip Terra will receive citizenship on arrival, welcoming them, welcoming them to the new home. The Rehabilitative Law System Those that fought for and against the previous regime committed horrible acts that have fractured our nation's unity. In the name of reconciliation, various rehabilitation courts it will be open to encourage discussions between victims and offenders on both sides, free of judgment. This will help encourage forgiveness among the former enemies. Decentralize the Civil Defense Force. Making your forces into small groups will make it easier for them to respond to threats. Gathering loyalty from the entire force would also be much more difficult and it might, prove, might prevent an armed coup. Crime and punishment. This was it. Only a fool could believe that they could escape the sins of the past, and today was the last day of Rubium Pisces delusion. In fact, right now was most definitely his last moments. The shaking unicorn sat before his door, anxiously awaiting the moment fate would come knocking. Everything had started as usual, but just as he began to fix his breakfast, Ludubium heard the rumbling of an all-too-familiar type of truck pulling up to his house and who was stepping out. The uniformed ponies he caught sight of all confirmed his fears and immediately started to dart... Uh, what, to where? Rubium choked on a laugh. Where would he even run to? Where could he even hide? The new government clearly had all they needed to know about him. And now with a cadre of shadows looming on the other side of the front door, it was all over. His mind flashed to where he stored his rifle and fleeting thoughts of a glorious fleet or a glorious last stand filled his imagination. Yet even that didn't sit right them. He didn't want to die. Oh, Luna, he was going to die. And instead of the door crashing in, there was a knock. A buffalo Rubium hesitantly glanced through his peak hole and saw three opponents idly waiting for him. Only one carried a weapon, unlike the whole kill team he had imagined. He suddenly found his hoof opening the door and his eyes meeting the friendly gaze of their speaker, not staring down the muzzle of a gun. Good morning, Mr. Rubium, Ple Pisces. G good morning? It is with regret that I must inform you that the government has sentenced you to undergo our new rehabilitation program due to your previous employment in the Legionary Medical Research Department. So he wasn't going to be dragged out back and shot. Failing to hold back his tears and foolish smile, Rubium voluntarily offered his hooves to be handcuffed. Quite unexpected. Oh, we didn't take the Navy from the other group too. Dang it. Uh, so we got all of these. The reparations for the fallen. Many ponies were enslaved and taken advantage of by the old legions in the labor system. Once the old regime collapsed, they were free, but with no help in starting their new lives. The least we can do for them is repair the damage that we caused. Nice. Mm, the Faith and Reason Movement. 
Weekly stability and weekly war support go up. Daily harmonious and commie support encourage the undermoon movement. Weekly stability and weekly support goes up. Oh. Across the country, moon speakers from all walks of life and sects have come to preach forgiveness, healing, and peace. Increasingly, more and more are going to preach over radio channels to spread the words far and wide. If we can spread their voice farther, it should help more ponies recover, or the faith and reason movement. Faith and reason should not be the two opposites of the same coin, and rather should be used together to expand one's understanding of the faith beyond what they were simply taught. Factory output versus party popularity stability modifier. Um, faith and reason. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this one. The past unveiled. Dusk Wayne's head sank deeper into his four legs, a folded atop his table in a vain attempt to simply just bury with a distraught and anguish that scrunched into a withering skull on his face. It was his idea to open up Chair of Terra's archives. It was his idea to give closure to all families victimized by the legionary medical research department. He had known the unadulterated truths that lay there in waiting, the harrowing facts of everything Chair of Terra's predecessor regime committed, sir. The nation's leader didn't even look up at the intern. We've always suspected it was hundreds. We even speculated range in the thousands, but by the moon we were wrong, we were so wrong. The intern shifted uneasily. How many was there? Dusk Wayne finally straightened up and caught the intern's hesitant stare. The ferment eyes of the moon speaker, a priest turned government leader, were lost in lifeless dread. The Legionary Council cataloged over, over half a million pony seats from the homes, not including the other creatures, oh, Luna, within the last century. The archives' entirety was five floors. They had barely scraped through half of the first. Not only were the records on every creature forced to become a laborer, but the records on everything the Legionary Council approved. Modern breakthroughs achieved via involuntary test subjects, lists of bloodlines murdered, political assassinations, corporate assassinations, social experiments that will always end with extermination, kidnappings from other nations, lists of terrorist cells, foreign and domestic, and more. The extensive list continued on and on, Desquain broke away from the intern's horrid expression and reached for one of his whiskey bottles before he drank for his swelling inebriation. Tonight he drank for the drowning numbness. Does truth really set one free? Many gods would moon. Sheriff Terra, Zebraka at large, have many local religions and deities that are worshipped. If we begin to equate those deities to the moon and stars, we can begin to assimilate their worshippers into the future. Faith needs no race, and sees no blood. Whether some creature is from Hippogriffia or they are a Hertzlander, a pony from Equestria or Changeling, we are all the same under the lunar light. At long last, the moon is embraced by any who come to our shores, they will be welcomed into our communities with no hesitation. And then reorganize a nightmare's hoof. The Nightmare's Hoof was the old intelligence agency of Chiraptera, and many members still exist. It would be in our best interest to reform it, but we should be remade into a less cruel and more limited agency. Ensure minority representation. An effort must be made to guarantee that all voices of all of our nation's citizens are heard. No matter how small the community is, representatives for the all previously marginalized groups will be inducted into the government to ensure that everyone's needs are met. A culture of charity. In order to build a stronger sense of community nationwide, we'll encourage a culture of charity among the population. This will heal any divisions that still exist between our citizens. By helping your neighbor, you help support and strengthen your community. A nation of many peoples. We are all different, whether it's our religion, culture, race, or sets us apart, but these are qualities that should be celebrated, not hidden. We shall all be proud of what makes us unique as we are united in our diversity. Ensure government tra uh, transparency. Other uh, points of our nation should trust in government, and in order to do that, we need to ensure transparency with the public. The doctrine of socialist pacifism. Starting wars will no longer be our business. However, we will not be defenseless as any invasion of Chiraptero and soil will be met with tooth and hoof. One family under the moon. The moon has always been seen as the mother of any worshipper of her and a guardian to her children. We should have reflected that in our government, being a guardian to the local authorities instead of an all-consuming state and the red, room, red moon rising next. The town is going to make a push and unify the country under one leader to show that all that lunar grace rests upon Duskwain's head, prosperity, stability, and unity for all. Diplomatic decisions, huh? Well, let's see what we can do with all these guys over here. Troubles by the number. Cherub Terra no longer is ruled by the people that are ruled by the government. That spread fear and distrust among its citizens in order to foster nationwide paranoia against fictitious or fictional enemies. Once people realize that only they could dictate their future, they rallied around the only individual that would fight for them. Dusk Wayne. Uh, through the reformation of labor practices and the protection of all workers, he promised to increase uh, our material wealth, which would be shared by all. No longer would our laborers slave away for an unthankful government, which would uphold, which would withhold the fruits of the people's labors from them. With societal reforms and the help of the moon speakers, we would create a society in which all creatures and religions would be equal. No longer would nightmarism be forced on every creature's throat and religions and cultures branded as deviant to be oppressed. The reaction is to try to stop these fundamental rights from materializing, but they failed. The defeat of the supremacists and the militarists and their authoritarian ways has ushered in a new era. We are now free to create a nation that is led by the people, for the people, according to the wills of the people. Keep the scarlet banner flying. The chip and troubles will have come to an end at long last. Uh, from legions, of course, the Hay Doctrine, Civilian Defense Force. Um, oh, 
I guess we no longer have it. Cool. Adjust the La Haye Doctrine. It may be necessary that our aerial forces take more clinical measures when attacking an enemy. Concentrating our efforts on bomber warfare and forgetting the key things like railways and infrastructure will at least help minimize future civilian casualties now. We've gone ahead. And now we can form the Federated Provinces of North Zebraco, which would be kind of cool. I've never seen this before. Oh, we're a lot of great now. Look at that. And apparently we can, uh, well, I guess start integrating uh, Rosh Menush and a lot of these states, which would actually be really cool. Actually, we do that. We don't have these. These are just occupied states, right? Nice. We're all from different countries here. It's good. Ooh, that's really ahead of time. Uh, oh, well. Riverlands unification. That's nice. Um, well, since we're here, we might as well try to unify everything here. Or, I guess, integrate. Because at this point, why not? Nice. Cool. We could pursue detente with Equestria, but I don't know about that. We'll see. I don't know why we can't do this one. Uh, we already have this, of course. That's why, probably. Um... Overall, not bad. It's 1018 still. I've been playing for a long time. Pluralize the military chaplain system. Making space within the new military hierarchy for more military chaplains will allow us to keep up the faith, but also give our troops an outlet for their needs. Our new reform legions will be more understanding of the uniqueness of every creature. The right to a conscientious objection. We're no longer in the age of forced military de deployment. It must be established that every creature has a right to conscientiously object to military service and be allowed to partake in the means of helping the state. Good, good, good. Adjust the Lahey Doctrine. Good. Equestria Super Events. Um, I'd like to do this, but Chiropter has far too long been a pariah state. We plotted for a thousand years to bring down Equestria a home of peace and harmony. If this is not proof of the villainous nature of the previous regime, then there is none. Uh, it is time to turn over a new leaf and pursue peaceful and cooperation methods with our distant cousins. Well, I guess the changings have done very well here, so I guess so much for that. The Aerial Supply Train. It has been noted that there is considerable room for the, util the utilization of aerial supply methods to aid our troops. Whilst we can build railways and infrastructure to get supplies wherever they are needed, transport aircraft can get there with a lot less time spent. Strict rules of engagement. No more will we party to be party to a warmongering society, probably. That does not mean we are defenseless, however. Our new legions will operate under strict rules of engagement to ensure that all creatures in our borders are safe and prosperous. Yeah, we'll do this one next. Article 9. Beautiful. A lot of armor XP too. Prioritize, prioritize armor development. Pivoting our research and development to focus into more advanced methods of armored warfare seems to be a good choice. Our creatures are precious, and tanks are very resilient. An increased focus and utilization of armor will help our legions greatly. Modular magical weapons development. Magical weapons are very well and good and understood, but the production of these advanced systems is a hindrance on our resources. We have to be smarter. If we overhaul these weapon systems to be modular, we can simply build components as we need and swap things to adapt to new situations. Legions of Peace. What used to be a great sign or great greater depression from our state will now be heralded as a sign of the great rise in power, prosperity, and unity of the nation. Our new reinvigorated legions. We have a symbol of peace and economic prosperity through the miracle of communal effort. Yeah. 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 What happens if we do this, though? It's only 90 days. We have a million manpower. Oh my god. And a crap ton of divisions, and we don't. Um. Yeah, well, we'll see. We might go to war, then we might not, so. We have built up a lot of infrastructure around here. A lot of supply bases, too. So, we are actually pretty good to go to war with anybody. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And a couple of decaf got here, too. Not as good as regular caffeinated coffee, but you know what? I like to be able to get to sleep at night sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time. Like last night. Oh, well. Early tactical... Well, I don't think we really need early tactical bombers, but that might just be me. Operative capture day. We have ways of making you talk. So that's KS here. Nice. Should be good. And learn more about these folks. Ah. For more sub stuff? Yes, please. Good. Keep training your guys, because we can prioritize armor development. We could do that too, but we don't really need to... All non vital personnel. Ah, oh, Duskwing. Very good. And he helps out with compliance too, so. And we could use definitely use more compliance up here. Support weapons, nice. Ursa Nova, good. At least we find like five research slots, that's actually really good too. Good. Because did I throw on. You know what? We're gonna throw it on. Oh, we can't throw it on. Darn it. Anti air. I threw on at least one thing of anti-air here, so just in case. 
They have no piercing, but they should still be able to work fine. So have 200,000 200, manpower, pony power. Air bases. Good. We need a lot of planes for this. Now we have semi modern jets, which is great, don't get me wrong. There we go. Can't build any nukes right now. Well. Go ahead. Because we are about halfway towards there. That's magical equipment and medium tanks, amphibious tanks. Probably not going to use those. Probably not going to use these either. Yeah. Overall, looking not too bad. Socialist Republic of. Oh, wait. Socialist Republic of Austria. Oh, the current ruling part is harmonic. Huh. Alright. Oh, it used to be Stalingrad, that's why. Cool. They're a lot less unified than I thought they would be. Huh. Oh, well, their problem, not ours. Legions of Peace. Well, let's see. Here. How about you take less losses, or maybe have more HP? There you go. Couch, he's taking 17, huh? I really wonder if we, well, we should be okay. Once I don't try to invade us too hard. Yeah. Easy access memory, 70 D is not bad. Ah, more cryptology is good. 10 days left for that. 14 weeks. 14 weeks, two weeks left. Planes, more planes, more planes, because I'm sure they're going to have more than enough, too. Ah, okay. Good, they're definitely going to need that there. These guys, I'm sure, are very thick. Oh, God. Do have plenty of radar everywhere. Legions of Peace, well, sort of. Sort of. So that's Article 9. Cool. Well, let's save real quick. And uh, what happens if we do end up going to war with these guys? Oh man, they immediately start attacking us, don't they? Oh boy. Just in case. Oh, we don't have it ready yet? Are you kidding me? Bruh. Now, could you be on the offensive here? Let's go give and take. We're actually pretty good on defense. Decent on defense, actually. So losses, 10,000. Immediately 100,000. Because we do have chem companies on our guys. Chem companies or... Oh, shh. Nikes. There you go. My bad. Yeah, they sent a couple convoys. Forgot about them. It's probably promoted. They have a lot of ships there, but we should have quite a few naval bombers doing stuff there, too. Modern trucks. Sure. Oh man. Oh man, we lost a lot there, didn't we? Do we not have planes doing something here? Come on, planes. Do more. Couch D thirty five thousand versus two hundred thousand, not bad, but they have way more manpower than us. I expect. More. Uh, how are we doing? We got green air. That's what matters. And we have like quadruple their or triple their plane numbers. Interesting. So much for legions of peace, but whatever. Don't talk about that. This is a defensive war. And by defensive, I mean we have to be in the offense so that we can be defensive. That's right. Oh man, we really need more resources, don't we? Oof. 95, my god, come on. Mm. 
Oh, they got a lot of defense in there, don't they? Well, let's take a look. See, 124 divisions, half a million manpower. Way better than us. Should hold. Hold for now. Let's get the cryptology done. Let them uh, attack us a little bit more. F6. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Supplies are going to be a kind of an issue. There you go. Do that and we should be okay on supplies eventually. Just hold the line for now. Admiral, how's it going? Level 4 could be better. We're just destroying his air force, which is fantastic. World casualties, nice. Everything we have is better than we just have better planes. Oh yeah, beautiful. They just 86, 83, 74, 72, 70, 68. Just dropping them as hard as we can. Nice. Uh, looking pretty good too. We'll do some of that. They're suffering from major attrition. Galaxy is 100,000 versus 600,000. That's pretty good. Resistance suppression, they're down to a quarter million. So they're out of a lot of stuff, which is fantastic. We're almost done with cryptology, which is taking forever. Oh my god. You got a Zerta? Beautiful. Good. We're trying to get a supply through here first. Then we'll be able to get supply through here once we uh six days left. Within a week, and we supply through here, which is awesome. And more ground attack for Cass. Why not? Why not? So the next thing up there, huh? <sighs> My god. It takes so long to get the cryptology done. I only want to attack once we have all the cryptology done, so. Come on, bombers, do something more. Yeah, looks like we need more bombers in, huh? Because we do have jet bombers. Sure, war bonds. What's the last war we're probably going to take? All non vital personnel, please. And since we're done with the focus is, which should be the last of the focus tree here, but you never know. Should be okay doing that. Hello. Nice. Good for them. Finally sunk another ship. And 99%. Now it is a bit of their entrenchment, but I think we'll be okay. 600,000 losses. They have a lot of missing guys here. Come on, any second now. You know, go ahead and take this out. Take this out too. Level 5. Still a blockade runner. What else are we doing? Any day now. There you go. Thank God. Jesus Christ. It took forever. Of oh. course, calculators. Nice. Can't win on this side, which I don't think we can. We're just gonna start splitting them here and get a uh, cold egg. Fish. Nice. There you go. Now we want to definitely use you guys here. Split them apart. Nice. Hundreds of thousands of dead ponies and enemies galore. 
Nice. Gun mine. Good. Even though we don't really need as much. More artillery. More softies. Ah, more millies. Um, we don't need any more mechanization, but we'll put three down here too. Hipponk. This is going to be sucky over fighting here over here, but whatever. Uh, yeah, new mission support. Why not? Good, we actually broke through here. Look at that. He actually did something. Ooh. Oh, I guess there are suppressive... I don't remember such a suppressive barrages are a thing, but okay. Kavi has been... Okay, well, whatever. Now they're over a million losses. Beautiful. Oh, man, this is devastating. Oh! Oh my god. One and a half million. Uh, no, we're good. Don't get me wrong, we're still completely out of manpower, but whatever. Just destroying them. Just shredding through them. Well, shredding through some of our own guys, but... Up to two million losses. Love it. take away from us. I hope. Just in case. Or just take all that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. The Federated Province of the North Zebra Cup. I think that looks pretty good. But I think I'm going to end it there. This video has been an hour long with me playing for like three or four hours off screen total. So, insane. We're a religious socialist. But if you enjoyed the campaign where we finally got Duskwing, please consider leaving a like. It helps me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what you thought of this campaign, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.